in pediatric patients with acl injury it is always a difficult scenario to reduce the incidence of growth disturbances for this iliotibial band itb is a very good graft in which you can do acl reconstruction without drilling any tibial or femoral tunnel in this patient a 10 year old male child who has suffered acl injury while playing football we are treating the same with the iliotibial band acl pediatric reconstruction without drilling any tunnels in this particular case we are demarcating the femoral insertions of the acl once we do that we will harvest the iliotibial band graft at least we will take around 12 to 13 cm of the graft we will take and we'll keep the distal insertion intact we'll release it proximally and once we mark the footprint we mark the footprint on the femur we will insert an artery forcep into that area and we will feed the sutures which are prepared on the itp autograft uh, 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 into the tip of the artery forceps this artery forceps is then pulled up into the joint by doing this we have passed the graft just posterior to the femoral footprint which is quite anatomical and we save drilling through the femur thereby the graft is now passed into the joint after that we will be using a spinal needle to make a portal just beneath the intermeniscal ligament so here we can see that intermeniscal ligament we go just beneath it we use an artery forceps to go just beneath the intermeniscus ligament on the anterior aspect of the knee thereby we avoid drilling any kind of the tunnel in the, on the tibia itself after that we will do some kind some little bit of uh, suture management and we will try to make the graft little bit lax and then we will be just making the graft a little bit more lax and try to uh, reach the threads the fiber by threads on the more distal aspect so once we do that we will be just pulling it back so here also we are avoiding making any drill or any tunnels into the femur as well as the tibia so now we have we have hold it with the uh, with the artery forceps and we'll just pull, try to pull it from the distal aspect more distal aspect and then we will just pull it up into the anterior aspect of the joint so once we pull it up into the anterior aspect of the joint we'll tension it and we will just place it around on the proper location so here you can see that the ten fascia lata autograft is a very good graft in which we can avoid drilling and passing any screw or anything through the physis so thereby uh the chances of growth disturbances in this particular case is nearly zero so here you can see a very nice tf uh, is ilia itb autograft which is functioning like an acl very nicely anteriorly you can stitch it over to a dense or a thick periosteum on the tibia or more commonly i use a swivel lock kind of a anchor to fix it on the tibia to prevent any kind of a loosening of this iliotibial band allograft so here you can see that it is passing just beneath the intermeniscal ligament uh, on the femur side it is coming from the back of the posterior lateral aspect of the femur so itb this is also a very good graft in adults in revision scenario also so iliotibial band autograft for an acl is very good for pediatric patients thank you